Ooh, yeah, baby. AJ Wagoner, built500s.com. Brand new, just been built. Billet cases, brand new cylinder. Everything's new on this bike, guys. Fantastic, world class CR500 AF, built by the godfather, the guru, the grand master of CR500s, AJ. And then it's been given the super wizard tune here and uh, Steiger graphics. 47. Just beautiful. This is kit number 47. Now, this isn't cast and sewn, guys, but Chrissy's been talking about maybe on kit number 50, she might make them available to the public. But my God, is this an absolutely gorgeous bike. It is absolutely stunning. Rent all bars. This has the MX Tech Pro suspension on here. Extremely expensive upgrade to the already kick ass Honda uh, suspension. I believe that kit's of, uh, 1300 just for the parts. Um, the shock's been done by MX Tech. It's got the Pro Circuit Works pipe. Stay tuned. We're going to take this baby for a rip today. Unfortunately, it's snowing out, so uh, we don't want to get it dirty. But um, it's a steering stabilizer in there. It's got the steering stabilizer. It's got the aluminum radiators. This is built by the best. It's got the uh, anodized red Kickstarter, the built500.com. If you want to buy any of these parts, go to built500.com. AJ's got, uh, got it figured out. He's pretty much reverse engineered a lot of the components on this bike, including the polished aluminum billet cases, which come with a lifetime warranty. Guys, you buy a new Honda CR500, they make you sign five forms that there's no warranty, none. You can pull it in the parking lot and it freaking blows up. You own it. AJ's a small shop, a specialty shop. He's been doing this since the beginning, since 1997. He built the first AF. It gives you a lifetime warranty on the frame and on the on the engine. Who else on the planet's gonna do that for you? I'll tell you who. Nobody's gonna do that for you. There's no shop. They make you sign waivers. Why does he do that? Because this product is freaking bulletproof. It's been around since 1985, okay? This thing is the best two-stroke motor ever made, bar none. I'll fight anybody over that any day. Nobody's ever made a better motor than the CR500 engine. Proof is in the pudding. Why are people taking brand new 450 motors, which have been evolutionized for 25 years, taking them and throwing them in the garbage and putting a brand new two-stroke in it? Why? Because they're a freaking time bomb waiting to go off. They have less than a quart of oil. You get 100 hours on it and it grenades and you got yourself a paperweight. Not the 500. I know guys that have been running these with a the stock top end for 30 years. Hundreds of hours on them, and they're just bulletproof. The clutches, the transmissions, far superior in structural integrity to even the mighty KX500 AF. And I know some of the haters will probably want to chime in now, but the KX500 pales in comparison. You don't believe me? Ask AJ Wagoner. You don't believe him? Talk to the engine gurus like Adam Millar. There's a reason why there's 500 that the Cowies have weak transmissions. They've got the power valve, not the Honda. These are bulletproof. I've never seen one of the trannies failed in, in uh, decades of racing them. Renthal sprocket, gold chain, Steiger. This is a 25th anniversary model, 25 years, built500.com excellence. This has a compression release built in, so if uh, you're getting up there in years and you wanna make it easy to start, just push a little button in right there and you can start it with your sneakers on. Pro Circuit 304 factory sound silencer you can't eat these these pipes were on back order aj somehow uh i think he put in a big order at pro circuit and got a batch of them give him a call if you're looking for one what's happening fellas feast your eyes on the closest thing a mere mortal is ever going to get to a factory bike this is essentially a works motorcycle right here from the bottom of the tires to the top of the handlebars built by the legendary aj wagoner built 500.com service honda founder this is his 25th anniversary model you can see this uh commemorative badge that was uh designed none other by christy steiger everything on this bike is unobtainium the graphics are a one-off set of graphics only made for this this particular bike you can see it has the, the metallic blue on there uh, christy put a lot of time uh talent and uh love into this graphics package and as aj did on every component on this bike now let's start with the real magic of this bike. Let's start with what it's really about, the motor. This is, AJ has been building these for over 25 years, uh, 25 years of the aluminum frame conversions. He's reverse engineered the engine cases and he's designed a set of engine cases out of billet aluminum. He sold hundreds of these. In fact, when I bought my brand new 2022 450 Works Edition right here, which um, <clears throat> is being raffled off by a ticket at KaplanCycles.com, I had assigned five different uh, waivers of of uh, liability for the engine. If the engine blows up, there's no warranty on it. Now, 
quite contrary to the, this brand new built 500 where you get a lifetime warranty on the engine cases and a lifetime warranty on the frame from the man himself, AJ. Now, why? Because they are bulletproof. These engines are, this is the best two-stroke motorcycle engine, big bore engine ever built. If you see this right here, if you see the service Honda insignia on the frame rails, this is a lifetime warranty on the engine cases, the billet cases, in the frame. Nobody on the planet. There are a lot of wannabes, uh, looky loos guys who try to do what AJ does, but there's so much that goes into building one of these that you don't understand unless you've built 7,000 of them like AJ has. Uh, not one, not two, not a half a dozen, 7,000. A lot of things like the air box need to be engineered properly to put this two stroke motor into the four stroke frame. Everything's done right on this. This entire cradle here is all billet. This is solid aluminum, aircraft quality aluminum. It's not hollow. It won't ding or dent on the bottom because it's solid metal. The engine covers are billet aluminum. Built500.com. Check it out. Billet aluminum cases, hydraulic clutch, just absolute master craftsman. Tens and tens of thousands of dollars uh, on the CNC program to build these cases and a lot of, a lot of testing. They're uh, virtually unbreakable. And take a look at the radiators. Those are custom hand-built radiators. You can see the, the hand welding on here. It's just like getting a work spike. Now, AJ is pumping out around eight of these a year. That's the good news. The bad news is this is the only one, the only new, not ridden, brand new engine. Every component on that engine is new. There are no used components. This is a brand new motor. It's not out of a, a, a used bike. It's a, every part on here is NOS Honda, like the cylinder, or custom built by AJ. He only built eight of them this year. You may have seen the 2017 frame one that we that we sold earlier this year. Uh, this is the second one we've got, and we have two more on order with AJ, a 2021 and a 2022 built on that chassis right there. Uh, however, there are some challenges to the new chassis I'll get into for a second. But the other four, the other bad news is the other four are all spoken for, so there are none available. This is it, this one right here. Other than the, the, the uh, 21 and 22 we got coming in, but those are gonna be about, uh, about, uh, I don't have the final numbers, but six to $10,000 more. Why is the, is the new frame more? Because the new frame has a shock engineered for the four stroke on it that won't fit with the two stroke pipe. So you have to have a custom shock made by National MX. The shock's around $3,000 and the cost of the new frame is more. So this is the preferred frame AJ likes to build them on, the 2015 to 2017 model. Uh, this is an extremely low hour 2015 model. He only builds them on pristine original units. As you can see, the swing arm is pristine. The, the, the original factory wheels are pristine with no evidence of ever being ridden on. The original factory forks are in excellent condition. Now, we'll get into the suspension in a second, but before I do that, I want to finish on the motor. This has a brand new this is the best carburetor. Believe me, we've dynoed all of them. The best carburetor for motocross is, is the, the Kian uh, Air Striker carburetor. It's got a twin air filter. It's jetted for this, this motorcycle. The reed valves, everything's brand new. Has a compression release head on here. This is a factory stock Honda CR500 piston, head gasket, base gasket, rings. Guys, this is not a used cylinder. It's not a new old stock cylinder that's been sitting on a shelf for 20 years. This is a brand new cylinder. AJ put an order in with Honda and he just got the order in a couple months ago. There's only a limited run of these cylinders. They're brand new 2022 cylinders with a billet crank, billet engine cases, all new gasket seals, everything. Every nut and bolt on here is brand new, including the OEM brand new Honda cylinder head, which was modified and it looks like it was made at the factory, not, not an aftermarket conversion. Like some of the ones you see here, it looks like Frankenstein welded that on. Super professionally well done. Guys, this is exactly what Honda would have built if they still were building a 2022, except for, you know what? It wouldn't be this good. It wouldn't have a billet engine case. Why? Because it, it's a lot cheaper to it cast one. It would be too one. expensive. It'd it'd be too weak. expensive. They just don't, and guess what? You'd signed a waiver that your warranty is full circle. You step out of the circle, there is no warranty. AJ gives a lifetime guarantee on these. Why? because he's improved, he's been doing this for 25 years, thousands of these, and he knows where the engine cases break. Where do the engine cases break? On a stock CR, they, they break over here where the kicker is, where the extra pressure is. So AJ reinforced that. He didn't reinforce the bottom of it where the cranks would come out the bottom of it. He re reinforced it over here. If the chain comes off, this is twice as thick as the magnesium case, and it's much more robust. This engine case will never fail, and it's 
you can, it's polished to like a chrome finish. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful. This is a work, not only is this a works type machine, it really is a work of art. It's like having a factory, factory uh, works Honda. That's exactly what you're getting right here. Even the suspension on the bike. I think I've, is there anything you want to add about the engine, Junior? junior? No, it's just pure artwork and uh, just, you know, it's the product of, of uh, thousands and thousands of machines. Only these late models have, have had, these have only come available in the last couple of years, right? That's true, so. and the vibration on this is less than a standard Honda motor because the tolerance is on the crankshaft, the tolerance is on the engine cases, everything is better. The exhaust is better fitting than, than uh, you would find on any other exhaust system. Little things like the way the exhaust fits, the way the jetting's done, nothing's worn out, it's brand new. So it's, it's, it's as good as it's ever gonna get. He's even got billet covers on this side of the motor here. You've got your billet, billet clutch covers, you've got a billet, billet water pump cover, you've got a anodized aluminum red kick, kick starter, uh, obviously the Pro Circuit Works pipe, just absolutely gorgeous. Even the engine mounts, Junior pointed out, take a look in here. This is a CNC uh, machined billet aluminum head mount. AJ doesn't cut any corners on his bikes. This is as good as it gets. Same with the petcock plate right there. You see that, guys? That's all custom. That has to be changed. It's not as easy as you, as you think to do one right. That's where the fuel sending unit would go on the factory tank. So uh, an another thing that it would need to be modified, the factory tank, to do that properly. There's no hack stuff here, guys. This is, is not a backyard build. This is the real deal. He's got the no. trademark with Honda CR500 AF. That's AJ. That's Now, guys, th the suspension was originally built for a four stroke engine. AJ understands that it has to be changed and changed dramatically. So what has he been doing for 25 years? Well, he's had MX Tech Pro Suspension. These, do, these guys do suspension for a lot of the national riders that are competing against the factory teams. The complete internals of this fork have been replaced with an MX Tech cartridge insert uh, on here. So it's, it's uh, um, been valved and built for this engine to work properly with the, the, the power delivery of, of the two-stroke and the extra horsepower that it has. The rear shock has also been rebuilt and valve. Uh, starting at the front of the bike, it's got the brand new tire on there. It's got the uh, um, new custom graphics from Steiger Graphics. The front fender has the graphic kit. The front number plate has a graphic kit. The bars have been upgraded to the Renthal handlebars and crossbar pad. It's got a uh, Magura. That's the one thing I may have Forgot to mention, it's got a Magura hydraulic clutch, which I have on my CR500 that I've won three years of the 500cc grass drag championship. I've won three years in a row, back to back to back with that clutch on my bike, I love it. The uh, grips are new, it has a- New old stock grips, which I love. That's, they're, they're nice and they're, sticky. These are, these are brand new 2022. They're not new old stock grips. These are, these are fresh from Honda, exactly as you would get on a new 450. The master cylinder, is a built 500 uh, CNC machine master cylinder cover, just bristling with trickery from front to back. Like I said, this is as close to a factory bike that any mere mortal is going, gonna get. If you have any questions about this kick-ass bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Again, it's been upgraded with the Renthal chain, the uh, Renthal sprocket, um, the wheel set is, is, is spotless and pristine, brand new rear tire. It's as good as it gets. Over 55. Now at the crank, you're gonna get somewhere in the area of 62 to 65 horse on a CR500. At the rear wheel, every one we've dynoed has been around 53 horsepower. Usually about one horsepower more than the CRF450. We dynoed a works edition like that one right there. I put down 52 horse and we dynoed a non-works edition that I that was my bike last year that I had here, and that put down 50 rear wheel horsepower on our rear nine, wheel. At the rear wheel, Dino Jet 240. The pie in the sky stuff that they put on the on the titles is uh, an engine dyno. There's a lot of parasitic drag from the rear wheel. On our dyno, on our Dino Jet dyno, 50 horse out of a regular 450, 52 out of a works edition, 53 out of this bike. Now that may not sound like a lot more horsepower, one horsepower more, but it also has substantially more torque. 25% torque, and that's the power, that's what keep, puts the rear wheel into motion through thick sand and mud. The two-stroke fires on every stroke of the crankshaft, where the four-stroke only uh, fires on every other stroke of the crankshaft, so it's a more constant power to the rear wheel. 
And the sound of the two-stroke, the durability of the two-stroke, the longevity of the two-stroke, the fact that all the components have been reverse engineered on the inside of the engine. A lot of manufacturers are making parts for this. Can you even get parts for a 2005 CRF 450? Probably not, because they change the four-stroke so often, that's a disposable motor. This is a forever bike, it's a forever motor, and it's as good as it gets. And that's what I still ride since 1986. I've been riding CR500s, my 97 500s over there. I love these engines. And this just takes it into, into the future. This is as good as it gets. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. 860-454-7024. There's only one available, guys. If you want it, call Junior. Give us a call. It's going to go fast. Thanks for watching. God bless America and God bless AJ for building these world-class works edition 500s.